Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nana's Hidden Apron. Do you ever have leftovers that you can't really figure out what to do with? Well, I have some leftover meatloaf. And uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we just did some yard work real quick while I was waiting for it to get just a little bit lighter. But uh, neighbors are doing some yard work. Um, but the solution that we came up with, pretty simple. Put it on the blackstone. Let's see what happens. It's ground beef and it's got basically the same thing in it that, that burgers have on them. I did remove as much of the ketchup off the top as I could. I, I'm a ketchup person when it comes to meatloaf. I love ketchup on my meatloaf. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to heat it up. I've got some bacon over here that uh, that we fried up the other day that we keep it in the fridge um, that I'm going to put on here and heat that up as well. And I'm going to hand this off to Tom and let him video for me. I would love to say I'm going to make a smash burger with it, but I don't know if I can do that. and wants a burger on the blackstone without a little bit of this right we're not going to smother it just going to put a little bit on it don't inhale it it's not good for the soul <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. Has all of the smell of the meatloaf to it, but getting that charred smell from the blackstone. I'm just going to lay this bacon over here off to the side. I bet that little bug wishes it hadn't landed on that black stone, huh? We'll just make sure that he doesn't uh, end up in our burgers. <laughs> no added protein, thank you. that on that side down just a minute longer. Man, that smells so good. Really starting to smell good now with that bacon on there. And we decided that we want to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. And we have our favorite. Besides G. Hughes, this is our favorite. Let me quickly put just a little bit of barbecue on each one of them. Let me 
think we're going to throw just a little bit of some cheese on here too. So let me let me get this bacon off of there, and I'm going to run in here and grab some cheese, and then I'll be right back. I'm just going to put a half slice on each one of them. What does that mean? Camera operator gets the other half. That's what that means. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, hmm. Get that bacon on there. That's hot. Of course it is. It just came off the grill, right? Mmm. Yeah, I'm licking my fingers. But, yeah, it's ours. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go in and finish getting these dressed up. So, let, let me get these off of here. And uh, y'all come on back in with us, because these little wood bees are going to get you, carry you away, if you don't. See you inside. Okay. We did decide that we want to put some pickles on it. I've got some veggies warming up over here in the microwave for Tom. We're not going to put any uh, avocado or tomato on it uh, this time. But we are using, the, these are new to us, the keto buns. We haven't used these before. So uh, they're so soft and I'm anxious to give them a try. Look at that. Nice bun. Nice bun, hon. <laughs> okay. Now we're trying to get away. And uh, I'm going to hang on to this fork. And whatever you want to put on it, you put your lettuce on it and your, your tomatoes and all that stuff. But we're just going to do the bacon, the cheese, uh, the sugar-free barbecue sauce on a keto bun with cheese. You want your pickles on yours? Yes, please. All right. We'll just put three. This is dill pickles, by the way. Dill pickles on it. That might be kind of hot, so careful. All right. I have slaw, my favorite thing. <laughs> Some slaw. Mine. Tom don't like slaw, so I get all that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So here's mine. And of course here's Tom's. And we're gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna get a bite of this. That bowl was very hot. Okay. There's Tom's burgers. Meatloaf burgers from the Blackstone. Leftovers. Okay. Good? Mm-hmm. Awesome. I really like these buns. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Good, good, yep. good. Okay. 
Okay. Now, let me get a bite. I'm flipping it upside down so my pickle doesn't fall off. Or if it does, it won't hit far. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Um. I would think uh, if you smoke your meatloaf, if you have a smoker and you and you uh, smoke your meatloaf, then throw it on that blackstone, give it just a little more smoky to it because I already put when I made my meatloaf, I put liquid smoke and Worcestershire sauce and smoky paprika, anything to give it a little smoky flavor. And in throwing it on that blackstone, to me, it it, it brought out a more uh, a smoky flavor. All those uh, ingredients that I put in there, it brought that smokiness out of this meatloaf. But to smoke it would be even better. So, leftover meatloaf. Slice it. Put it on your blackstone. If you don't have a blackstone or a flat grill, just do it on a skillet. You don't have to have that. Put it in a skillet. Flatten it out a little bit. As it heats up, just gently push on it. Flatten it down some. So you're not trying to get this big old piece in your mouth. Um, put whatever you want to on it. Add whatever you want to. And enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet, hope you will. Click the subscription button over here. And then the button, the bell. You'll get notifications each time we put new content on. Click all. So you know for sure that you'll get the uh, notifications. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you like to do with your leftover meatloaf. Um, you know, do you put it in with pasta? I mean, what do you do with it? Or just do you just heat it up and have leftovers? Uh, like you, you know, simple meatloaf. Let me know. Remember, Tuesdays at around 6 a.m. Eastern Time. That's when we put our new videos up. So you all take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.